Hi everyone and welcome back to ITM. This is Al and I'm here in our lab in New York. You can reach me at sales at itmtools.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to make a perfect hole in steel for structural bolt installation. That includes which tools to use and what sizes you'll need. Structural bolts are used in steel girder assembly, framing, and construction. And in North America, structural bolts come in eight basic sizes, starting at a half an inch to an inch and a half. The most popular sizes generally between five eighths and one inch. Now, there are many ways to make holes in steel, but when you are building steel structures, hole accuracy becomes very important. The best tool for fast, clean, and accurate holes is an annular cutter. And of course, to use an annular cutter, you need a machine called a magnetic drill. I'll get back to the machine in a minute. Annular cutters come in a wide range of sizes and cutting depths, and the rule of thumb for structural bolts is to make a hole 1 16th of an inch larger than the bolt size. Those annular cutter sizes are here in blue. Some iron workers like to drill a hole 1 8 of an inch larger than the bolt size, in particular on the larger bolts or if there may be a hole alignment issue. But generally speaking, the sizes in blue here correspond to common cutter size usage. Okay, so why do we use annular cutters? One, for hole accuracy. Two, for speed. Today, we watch Brian drill through a one inch thick piece of steel plate. This is A36 hot rolled medium grade steel, very common in all types of construction and basically what you will find in an I-beam steel. The cutter Brian is using has two inches of cutting depth capacity. That gives us plenty of cutter for drilling through thick steel plate. These angular cutters are found on page 46 of our 30th anniversary catalog. ITM annular cutters are made of M2 high-speed steel and they all feature a universal 3 quarter inch Weldon shank. The Weldon refers to the two square flats on the shank of the cutter. Just a couple of notes here while Brian drills. First, annular cutters require continuous cutting oil flow to reduce friction and overheating. Without oil, the cutters will burn and dull out very quickly. Second, these bushels of steel shavings are actually quite hard and sharp, so make sure to always wear gloves and eye protection. Okay, let's look at some holes and bolts. Here we have a nice 11 16 hole, perfect fit for a 5 8 bolt. 13 16 sounds like a strange size for a hole but it's exactly 1 16th larger than 3 quarters. 15 16ths. Whoop! That was a slug that just came out. Want to see that again? <laughs> Annular cutters make a circular hole, leaving behind a metal slug which will pop out when you are through the steel plate. 15 16ths is 1 16th larger than 7 eighths. And even on large diameter. Ah, there's the slug. The holes are a perfect fit. So you can see that annular cutters make a very smooth, very clean hole without any burrs and ensuring a proper structural bolt fit. Call us at 1-800-247-5696. We are here to help you. We stock annular cutters in one inch, two inch, three inch, and even four inch sizes. A complete listing is available in our ITM catalog. We make all sizes in M2 high-speed steel, M42 cobalt steel, which is all new for us and a better tool for cutting stainless steel plate. And finally, with tungsten carbide teeth, which operate better at higher speeds for faster cutting. Thank you for watching. Contact us at sales at itmtools.com.